Hi, I'm Bob Berry, and we're in the Hollywood Hills with British photographer William Ellis. Good afternoon, William. Good afternoon, Bob. William, uh, it's my understanding you've got an ongoing project called 1LP. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, 1LP is a portrait with an album of great personal significance mm -hmm. to the subject. Uh, and I, I record a short interview with the person about why it's so special. And then those two elements appear together on the web website, 1LP.org. Um, so in a nutshell, that's what it is. And its effect is that it gives a great insight into the person who's appearing on the, um, in the portrait okay. and their taste in music and the influences that it's had on them. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, from the original LA, uh, from the original 1LP project, uh, how are you developing this series? I mean, are you looking into other genres of music? Mm -hmm. uh, what directions are you going? Well, right, yeah, it started in jazz. It started in jazz, really. And the reason it actually came about was, um, speaking to many musicians over the years, um, usually about music, um, I really needed to find a format to preserve a, a kind of preserve a conversation or create a conversation that I could work with in terms of photography as well as a as a narrative and interview so I came up with the um, process that I've just described to you and really decided to go out there and, and photograph as many people as I could to kind of create a contemporary document of musicians initially and photographers and artists in other other genres, um, some writers, and really it's a limitless project when you think about it. But could you tell us about maybe some of the subjects you've uh, interviewed? Um, mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite or some of them that yeah. are interesting to you? I wouldn't say I have. A, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. I feel privileged whenever somebody kindly agrees to do a one LP session with me because it's quite an insight into into that person yeah. the music and it's a it's a quite a yeah it's quite an intimate kind of insight so um i don't have any favorites as such um there have been quite eventful um, sessions which i guess i could talk to you a little bit about mm -hmm. um one that comes to mind was photographing ron carter the, the great bass player at his home in new york and we've been in touch for several months actually uh, i met him at blue note on, on a trip to new york and spoke to him about the project and he kind of agreed to do it and um, we were just trying to get dates together and it turned out the only time we could the day I flew into New York he flew out that afternoon to do a South American tour so I went straight to his home from the airport um, went in we had a really enjoyable shoot you know fabulous um, insightful interview that he gave and, and then I piled back down, you know, out to the street and I'm checking the levels on my, I record the interview on my phone. Um, so I'm checking the levels after the event and there's nothing on the tape. So I'm sitting in the street, you know, <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's a nightmare. So I, the only thing I could do was go back. So I went back to the building and asked the, uh, the, the doorman to kindly ring Mr. Carter and explain <laughs> that Mr. Ellis had returned. Um, tail between his legs so anyway Ron Carter very kindly did the did the interview again so that was quite a hairy moment so taught me a lesson he's a very gracious man he is wonderful yeah, yeah, wonderful yeah, uh, any any other directions you're going to uh, besides jazz musicians mm -hmm. I, I mean where 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 are you going with this well yeah um, probably a couple of years ago um, the Royal Northern College of Music in in Manchester England got in touch yeah. and we had a meeting and they commissioned a series of 1LPs uh, sessions of, of visiting musicians uh, in all genres, classical, jazz, popular music, um, great masters who were giving classes there for their students. So they were creating their own, decided to have their own document created of their involvement mm. with music, which is obviously the, you know, the, the core of what they do. So I th they, they took the view that it would be a benefit to show the students, I think. Uh, the connection between the artists of, that have been before, even these great masters now, and the influences that they've been brought to bear upon them. Um, so that has led me to other, other areas, and I've been working with Birmingham City University on a series uh, of 145, actually. They, they kind of come up with a 145, uh, so it's a single record. 
and they just produced, they're about to publish a book on Northern Seoul. So I did a series of portraits and interviews for them on that subject. So that's, that's really interesting to be moving into other areas and they're also working on a, a, um, a, a, an endeavour with the University of the West Indies on reggae. So I'm working on a series on reggae for them at the present time. Is it all music related or do you, you do sometimes go off on a tangent? Well, yeah, I've photographed um, a lot of music photographers and great, um, well, one, partic one particular photographer comes to mind, Jürgen Schaderberg oh. um, of South Africa, who I was fortunate enough to exhibit with uh, a few years ago in, in that city in Cape Town. And um, Jürgen was in London maybe two or three years ago and I contacted him and we did his 1LP uh, in a gallery, he had an exhibition in Mayfair. And so we did the 1LP and I actually arranged him, uh, he, he kindly agreed to stand in front of um, his portraits of Nelson Mandela. Um, so when you see the picture you'll see really what, what a, for me, really significant image that had of a, a, a truly great photo documentary yeah. guy, yeah. yeah. Um, do you feel that you are almost complete with this project or do you see this as just ad infinitum? Well really, yeah, I don't think, um, <laughs> I don't see any end in sight. Um, <laughs> you, you, you of, of course you can apply this idea to people in, in any walk of life uh, and any any bodies and for me it's it's um, it's an excitement. It's a great th thrill uh, for me to s take people back in time. Almost, they, they go back. If you think about yeah. your one LP uh, and and how it made you feel, and, and it takes you back. Right. And I feel part of that part of that kind of experience. It does. It brings up uh, all those memories from when you first. Uh heard the particular music that you were yeah, referring to. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's a big thrill, it really is. Um, is there anything that you feel you would like to share with us about your project or where, anything at all? Well, yeah, it's, um, it's beginning to get uh, recognition in, 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 you know, in the UK and the US. Mm -hmm. um, I did uh, a premiere exhibition in New York a couple of years ago mm -hmm. at the Archive of Contemporary Music. Um, I've got a show planned for London this year, 2018, and again, we're going to be back in New York next year we're doing a return show at the Archive. Um, so, and, and, you know, and I'm looking at, I want to put a book together on the, the whole project. That's ongoing. That's something that's, that's How building. How many 1LPs have you done at this point? I don't know. <laughs> well, I would say uh, um, probably maybe two, 250 to 270 pictures. There are around 50 alone from the LA area. Wow! So there's a lot of a lot of um, a lot of source material. You're a busy man, Mr. Ellis. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. I keep doing it. Well, since the airplane is going overhead, I yeah. think we should uh, call it a night. I mean, don't the you? FBI, of course. It was. Thank you so much for being. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, anyhow, it's been a joy. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Bob. Thank you. You're welcome.